All right, hey guys. So today we have my second box of 2021 Upper Deck Synergy on the channel. These boxes cost $125 Canadian. So they are uh, quite a risky gamble. My first box went pretty decent. You can check that out in the top right corner if you're interested. And that's where I kind of went more in depth on the product. Here are the odds in case any of you guys care about that. But uh, what we're hunting, uh, I guess what would be nice to pull would be an autograph. So those are one in every, uh, sorry, four of autos in every 10 boxes. So that's four autos in an inner and then eight autos in a 20 box case. So that would be nice to pull an auto. Um, other stuff that you can get in here would be uh, look for cast for greatness, all metal trading cards. And then we've got our three Synergy FX cards per box. And yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, each of these boxes has three cards a pack and eight packs per box. This year's Synergy definitely is a big improvement over last year's. Um, and I have noticed that a lot of the inserts are selling pretty well actually on eBay, um, especially if you got a good player. So things like Lafreniere or Bowen Byram, uh, good players like that are selling like quite a bit. Lafreniere stuff is going crazy as I guess is expected. And uh, he does have autos in here, I believe. So there are the autograph checklist is pretty solid. I um, mean, got some Gretzky, Lemieux, Lafreniere. Um, I think there's, can't remember the other rookies, but um, obviously they're just a long shot to pull. So at $125 a box, you're definitely better off kind of buying singles or buying other products, I guess you could say, that have kind of more of a guaranteed hit or guaranteed mem cards or young guns, things like that. But I do like the product overall this year a lot better than years prior. And there is still a chase for something very big. So there's our packs. And set that aside and let's begin. So again, we're hoping for anything Lafreniere but uh, the, the inserts and designs are all very cool to see. So let's see what we get. And we will get eight of these like kind of red parallels or base parallels. Some of them have scratch offs to get some bounty, but we will start with a Jake Ottinger. So Jake Ottinger rookie, that's a nice card. Sorry about the glare from the overhead lighting, but the base cards do look very nice. Red card there. This is obviously a bounty. So yeah, nice start there. And then we do have a, one of these gorgeous cards, the pink uh, Synergy FXs of Mark Shifley, numbered at a 349. Just a beautiful card, very desirable, especially if you can go after your PC players or maybe even the whole set. Very desirable there. And then we do have a Quinn Hughes Roaring Twenties Synergy card. It's just a basic insert. And I'm not sure if the Roaring Twenties refers to their age or <laughs> that we're in entering the 2020s, but I'm not sure about that. Next pack. So yeah, just hoping for an auto, honestly, or Lafreniere, anything. Even Frensos, I do collect him as well. Um, anyways, moving along. Oh, cards are sticking. Okay. Another Quinn Hughes, not bad. Quinn Hughes base card. Just a red base card there of Quinn Hughes. Then we've got one of these exceptional futures of Victor Soderstrom out of 749. I did already pull the exact same card, so that's kind of a, a little bit of a bummer, but Victor Soderstrom, exceptional futures out of 749. These cards are acetate, obviously, and they look beautiful. And then we have a Nicholas Baudin rookie journey out of 799. Another insert. And I do like the numbering, the stamp, the stamp numbering is kind of cool. Like it's very, it doesn't look like the rest of the upper deck stuff, so it's pretty cool. All right, third pack. Definitely find that this year's Synergy is quite a fun rep. Despite the high price, it's still a lot of fun. All right, so now we have Sebastian Ajo. Another red base card, another bounty. We have Ty Delandria, Exceptional Futures at a 749. And we have one of these inserts, Constant Threats of Leon Dreisaitl. So again, even though it's just a plain insert, um, it, it is kind of cool. This pack is very heavy. Um, I'm not sure if that means it's another one of the metal cards. It might be, I think it is. Yep, you can definitely see that. So we'll leave that for the end, why not? I don't like doing that too much, but it's kind of the most exciting part of the break. So um, for Synergy, we'll do it. I don't know if that takes away our auto chances. Um, first box, we also did get a metal card if you haven't seen that one. All right, so now we have a Alex Ovechkin. Um, 
just a red vase again. That's another bounty. And then this is a very nice one, Bowen Byram, uh, Pink FX out of 349. So I might collect this guy. He looked really good in the World Juniors. I like the Avs. Um, so maybe I'll collect Bowen Byram. Maybe this might be the start of his PC along with uh, his Young Guns, of course. And then another Roaring Twenties insert of Mitch Marner. So that Byram is a pretty good hit, actually. That might be like a like a $20 card or something like that. Maybe this early on, it might go down, but that's a pretty solid hit. Oops, all right, so here we have a Bobby Orr. That's pretty nice. Bobby Orr, so this is a Legends. I think these are one per box, maybe two. Um, and then we have a nice Nathan McKinnon, exceptional stars, out of 749, another acetate insert. And we have a Jonathan Tave Stanley Cup journey out of 9.99. Unfortunate to hear that Captain Sirius won't be playing hockey this year, or he's on a leave of absence at least. Not sure what's wrong with him, but hopefully he can get back to health and hopefully he doesn't have to retire or anything like that. Now moving along, next up we have Brandon Hagel, rookie. So I haven't seen him before. I'm not sure if he was an MVP. I know he wasn't in uh, a young gun or anything like that. So Brandon Hagel... Looks like he got one game last year. Maybe they're stretching for a little bit for rookies. Here's another rookie, Synergy FX rookie. This is the base version, not the pink parallel, obviously, of Oli Uolevi at a 749. And then we have a Patrick Kane perennial All-Stars insert. So final two packs, still hoping for an auto, but um, with that metal card, I doubt it. I don't think they would do that, but I guess we'll find out. Packs are also opening really weird on me. They didn't do that in the first box. Okay, so we have, again, they're sticking. Okay, so we have a Brady to Chuck, um, just a base, not bounty. We have an exceptional young stars of Matthew Barzell. This is the gold version with the gold foil and the gold lettering, and it's also out of 449 instead of, I think, 749. And then, oh, another nice uh, constant threats of Connor McDavid. So of all the players to get, he's the best one, him and Dreisaitl. Can't complain about my constant threats as a, those players are definitely the best you can get. All right, so now we've hit our final pack. And let's see what we get here. So our first card is going to be another rookie of Matisse Kivlenix. So a Columbus Blue Jackets goalie. And that's another nice card. We're getting a lot of rookies. I think that's our third one. Um, we'll go from the back here. And we did get another Wayne Gretzky. So Wayne Gretzky Stanley Cup Journey. So that's nice. Out of 8 dollars It's a high numbered card, but it is the great one. So it's always a little exciting to pull him. So we have another metal card. And this one's going to be Tuka Rask. Cast for Greatness is what they call them. They do have autographed versions of these as well. As you can see, it's like a, like a thin sheet of metal. Almost like a thick credit card with the die cut corners, sounds like metal. And I do have my first one beside me as well. So I pulled this one in the first box. So pretty successful actually, as these are one in 60. So got one per box um, and they're very cool cards. But uh, yeah, unfortunately they're not autographed, but there's a Tuka Rask to go along with my Matthew to Chuck. And you could hear that metal on the ground. So that's kind of cool. All right guys, so here's the hit recap as I do at the end of every video, just to show kind of everything I got in one place. So we did get eight of our red cards as expected, one per pack, one legend, Bobby Orr, four regulars, and then three rookies. We got two of these Stanley Cup journeys numbered at a nine or eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine, both numberings. We got four of these acetate cards. Some of them are exceptional futures, some of them are exceptional stars, some of them are exceptional young stars. Barzal is a gold. We got one of these Synergy FX's regular rookie, and then two more, uh, one's a rookie, one's a regular, of uh, the pink variation. Bowen Byron's probably the best card of the break. Got a couple of Roaring Twenties. Got a couple of Constant Threats, Edmonton Oilers, Knights nice there. Got a rookie journey and a perennial all-star. And of course, we finished off with our metal card, Cast for Greatness of Tuka Rask. So yeah, guys, that's the end of this break. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for a lot more hockey card content. I'll be trying to open pretty much every single uh, card product that does come out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.